If you want to play games on PC, you don't have to spend a fortune. With more GPUs and CPUs on the market than ever before, it's easy to get yourself a powerful budget gaming PC and be playing the latest PC release in no time at all. Yes, you can still splurge on an ultra-powerful gaming PC if you've got cash to spare. But if your wallet is feeling a little lighter, there are still plenty of lower-spec alternatives that will still be capable of running graphically demanding titles without sacrificing frame rates. As the cost of living skyrockets, anyone contemplating getting into PC gaming or purchasing an upgrade for a dated gaming rig will want to consider budget gaming PCs. We have listed the top 5 budget gaming PCs and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, guidinggear.com. Number 5. Alarco Gaming PC These gaming rigs from the brand Alarco have sort of been in the spotlight for a little while now due to the craziness happening in the GPU market these days because there are hardly any affordable gaming rigs available on the market. That's where apparently Alarco PCs come in. The main differences when it comes to overall features of each Alarco desktop is with the case design and how many fans come with it. Otherwise, all of these different Alarco PCs have essentially all of the same main features. There are a couple of desktops that they provide that don't come with some of these specific features, but it's easy to tell which one of these come with that. The newest versions of the Alarco desktop PCs come with the RGB remote which lets you change the colors of the fans and or accent lighting of the case. There are multiple colors as well as different lighting settings to choose from. There are two USB 2 slots on top of the case along with a single USB 3 slot. Then there are some of the other slots available at the back of the PC from the motherboard. That brings a total of USB slots to 3 USB 3 and 4 USB 2.0. There are 3 intake fans in the front, 2 exhaust fans on the top and a single exhaust fan in the back. The side panel is tempered glass and altogether it's a good looking aesthetic with RGB fans and the case put together as a whole. Plenty of ventilation going on as well. That covers everything when it comes to the main features involved with these Alarco PCs. All of the Alarco gaming desktops come with a GTX 650 1GB graphic card. This card is several generations old but it makes sense when it's included in these desktops. It's near impossible to get any newer video cards today, hence why so many folks are interested in the older cards just to have a PC at all. If you're trying to play some sort of the newer titles such as Call of Duty Warzone, Cyberpunk 2077 or Apex Legends, you're going to have a rough time playing them. They are hardly playable at all with the GTX 650 graphics card. Alarco says in their product page description that it's able to run Fortnite at around 30 FPS average on lower settings as well as GTA 5 on lower settings. And this is true. You'll be able to run some of those older or more optimized games at lower settings and 1080p resolution. Number 4. MSI Aegis SE If you want more storage capacity without messing around with configuring a build, the MSI Aegis SE is an almost perfect option. It comes equipped with a 512GB SSD so you don't have to worry about large game downloads hogging drive space and 16GB of RAM ensures faster app launching and game loading. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super may be an older card, but it is more than capable of handling games like Apex Legends and Red Dead Redemption 2. The 10th gen Intel Core i5 CPU can be overclocked to 4.3GHz for all the power you need for more intense gaming sessions, and the customizable RGB lighting in the tower case lets you show off your personal style. Number 3. HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop 2021 With a design similar to HP Pavilion TG011022, the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop looks attractive with a classy faceplate with inverted V-shaped pattern and customizable LED lighting at the bottom, next to an HP logo. If you need a desktop that looks great on your desk, you should seriously start from here. At 16.32 pounds and 16 by 12 by 20 inches, the HP Pavilion is slightly lighter and looks way sleeker than Dell's competing budget gaming PC, the G5 Gaming Desktop, which weighs 16.7 pounds and measures 14.45 by 6.65 by 12.12 inches. Perhaps the main difference between the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop and the Dell G5 Desktop is that the former offer customizable LED lighting. It includes a decent number of ports as well, including 4 USB 3.1 ports, 1 USB Type-C port, 4 USB 2.0 ports, an RJ45 Ethernet port, a headphone jack, and a built-in card reader. On the NVIDIA GTX 1650 Super Graphics card, you have an HDMI, DVI, DisplayPort if you need to do a dual monitor setup. Also bundled into the package are a standard keyboard and mouse. And while they aren't gaming gear, at least HP included something. However, the package doesn't include a monitor. The inclusion of an AMD 6-core Ryzen 5 3500 processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super Graphics card, 8GB RAM, a 256GB SSD, and Windows 10 Home makes it a strong entry-level gaming contender and a solid workhorse in this price range. Number 2. Acer Predator Orion 3000 The Acer Predator Orion 3000 comes in a wide range of configurations, the most powerful of which will be out of most budget gamers' price range. 
However, the base configuration is much more accessible at below $1,000, coming with a GDX 1660 graphics card and Intel Core i5 processor, backed by 16GB of RAM. This model is no longer available directly from Acer, but still can be picked up from retailers and should provide more than enough graphical oomph for gaming at 1080p, even in a post-RDX 3000 world, without needing to compromise too much in the graphical setting menu. Despite being a powerful gaming PC with good potential for piecemeal upgrades further down the line, the Predator Orion 3000's chassis isn't oversized like some gaming rigs. It's been thoughtfully designed to fit beside a monitor or beneath a desk, and the vented front and side panels mean the thermal performance is excellent. It's got that much-desired gamer aesthetic too, thanks to RGB lighting and a big triangular power button that is very satisfying to press. Number 1. CyberPower PC Gamer Extreme These days, gaming PC's architecture can deliver the performance needed if correctly specified, for less money than ever before. As designed, the front panel features a trio of LED circles, a transparent side glass panel, and an LED-lit cooling fan on the rear. You have 6 USB 3.1 ports, 2 USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port, and a 7.1 audio channel output. For multi-monitor setup, you have an HDMI and display port. Wireless connectivity comes via 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Looking at its features, this machine can easily double for both gaming and productivity. Our unit comes with a 10th gen, 6-core Intel Core i5-10400F processor, 8GB DDR4 RAM, and 500GB SSD storage, alongside a 6GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super graphics card. This is enough power for gaming, web browsing, photo editing, medium productivity tasks, and some moderate video encoding. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super will deliver decent frame rates on most modern games and high settings played at 1080p resolutions. This ship is a refreshed update on the GTX 1660 Ti. This 1080p optimized machine handles modern titles pretty well, played at high graphics settings and 1080p resolution. Assassin's Creed Odyssey yields 76 FPS, Fire Cry New Dawn plays at 89 FPS, while Shadow of the Tomb Raider plays at 81 FPS. The latter's performance is quite remarkable since even consoles only run this at 60 FPS. Buying Guide Be sure to consider what you personally need when it comes to gaming on PC. If you're planning on playing mostly 2 d games or eSport games, you likely won't need a super powerful machine since these titles are usually well optimized to run on lower end hardware. On the other hand, if you want to play graphically demanding AAA games, you're going to need to spend a bit more to get the best performance. Resolution is an important factor here too. If you're gaming at a high resolution, you'll need a more powerful GPU in order to keep your frame rates looking steady without compromising significantly in the graphical settings. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up and stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.